So hello everybody and welcome to this video. You might be asking yourself if you're a Pyrocynical fan, uh, why should I care about whatever you have to say today? And the reason is very simple, because I've been a Pyrocynical fan ever since the whole Kim Star controversy, basically. And I've discovered him through that and I've been like, yeah, I like this guy, I like his videos, let's keep watching. And I've been watching him actively, I think, nearly every single video since then. And uh, with the recent developments regarding Pyro's sloppiness, I thought that I would put my two cents in. Like, this dude has like 500 subscribers, uh, what the fuck does he know about YouTube? I've been on YouTube f actively for like the past 12 years and for most of that I've been recording videos in one form or another. But tonight I wanted to give some ideas on what the fuck is happening around Pyro and with this slap. So, I've prepared some points, a part of this video will be scripted, a part of it won't be scripted. Let's start this shit. The slop era, it has a long foreplay, and it started around the time when Pyro stopped making reactions and, to like random internet videos, like the old Pyro, what people would like to call it, and like the middle era, like the transitional era of Pyro started, where he started reviewing uh, movies, series, and then eventually switched full on into long form videos that were like multiple hours long. And this era was what inspired me to do these two videos, what inspired me to do the best PSP horror game you've never played, and this game is Strange, which were about Silent Hill Shattered Memories on PSP, and about Life is Strange. And yeah, I've mentioned the British fanboy a couple of times there as well, but this was really the era that made me want to get into that sort of a content. And this entire channel basically is just me copying various other YouTubers, be it uh, Jigsaw, Razor Fist, or whatever the fuck. Like, I got too tired of making original content and I just decided like, I'm gonna make whatever I want even if it's copying other YouTubers, yeah, it's completely alright. The old Pyro stopped making reactions as we knew them back in the day, like the 2016 era of YouTube, like the leafy style of reactions really. And he started making essays, I've already mentioned that. And then he started Pyro Life and streaming and started posting slop. And Pyro mentioned this multiple times across various videos, but he said that he's making slop only because it funds the main channel videos because they take too long to make. And I can confirm that because the Sound Hill Shattered Memories video took me about, I don't know, it took me about six months to make it with scripting and everything, editing and recording. It took me about six months to make from the point of conception to like the release. And I understand how these videos can take a lot of time to make if you're like a, si a single guy who has no external help, which I didn't have any either. And the Life is Strange video took me about 8 months plus minus to make. And I'm really proud of these videos because it's like the pinnacle of what I can do. The Shattered Memories video exploded to like 40k or something views and the other, the Life is Strange video barely had 160 views and then some of my other videos got a lot of views. So yeah, there's that. But let me go back to that old pyro shit and why am I mentioning the slop. Uh, a lot of people in the community are saying, some ironically, some ironically, are saying that Old Pyro was just better. And I beg to differ, because Old Pyro was basically, in my opinion, he was basically the same guy, but he added more skits. Like, the slop, if you compare the new Pyro, the slop Pyro, and you compare the reactionary Pyro, or the reaction Pyro, you would notice that they are basically the same thing. He's taking something, he's reacting to it, be it a drama or a, some sort of a video. It's basically the same shit. It's just that the old Pyro put in way more effort into it because this new, this slop Pyro is just reading like a script or something. 
and and this new pyro to be honest really doesn't do that much he just sits in front of a camera and just reads the script and just talks about some points and really drags out the point of the video to get up the watch time and he's like got like 20 minute videos and back in the day he had like little skits sometimes he had like special effects <laughs> maybe like when that whole shrek has swag thing happened and that's the main difference in my opinion in the old pyro and the new pyro because the new pyro really just puts out slop not as the main thing even he himself said that this new sort of content is just there to fill out the void and to make money i'm gonna mention it again uh, in a couple of minutes so many people in the like recent month have been complaining uh, both in pyro's chat or in pyro's live stream have been really complaining about the uh, missing darkwood video which was supposed to i think originally it was supposed to come out on august 15th and then it was supposed to come out on september 15th and that's like nine days away so he is running kind of short the, it's too hard it may be too hard to make like pyro videos, pyro's main channel videos you have to admit there are some of the best stuff on youtube right now and in ages to be honest pyro's content i've been binge watching it uh, every single video since it came out like i really love your channel dude if you're watching this his editors are probably working overtime and he's doing like animations and shit for it with a team and he has a big production value for the video and that's the problem that's why the videos take so long to make that's why they come out like once every few months because he is doing way too much in these videos in my opinion you can say that oh he had an artistic vision for the video and i agree with that but maybe sometimes th those videos i have to admit sometimes they get too sloppy they with their editing style and with their writing they go way too much into detail in parts where where they really don't have to be case in point probably it's the whole funny yellow kill video where pyro went off for seven fucking hours like holy fucking shit dude Th did it really have to be seven hours long couldn't it be boiled down to like two or three hours and the message of the video or the point of the video could have been the same if i look at the script for the sound of shattered memories video like nearly two-fifths of that script had been completely cut out and that same goes for life is strange because sometimes when i look at these scripts i am like hey this is well, way too fucking meandering i'm going too much into detail here let's cut this shit out let's simplify this and that's something that in my opinion pyro has a big problem with this artistic vision that he has probably results in these delays and he's forcing his editors to editors and animators to keep doing stuff but when you watch these videos and he's like oh yeah they're the animators have been on like working overtime they've been doing this shit oh uh, uh, they've been working so fucking hard on this fucking video it's gonna be so fucking sick yeah it's gonna be sick but then you watch the video and you're like Hold on a minute. It's it's like a like a, the animations were just a part of the video. Like this this shit is what took them so long. Okay. Like there's no reason why why Pyro and his team are so justified in delaying in the video so much. In my opinion, this is the same situation in which Idubs was with Anissa when they were so late with releasing the fucking Sam Hyde documentary it's that they got lazy and in my opinion even though I know how long these videos take to be made even though I know that I still think that with all those people that he has behind him and I don't know how many to be exact but in my opinion there are two things possible or three things one pyro is not lying which is the most likely pyro is not lying and these animations and all this high production value shit is taking too long to make because it just takes that long and they are working really hard on it and i i believe that honestly the most out of these three theories but the second theory is that they are the animators are too fucking lazy and pyro is too lazy and he's too busy doing all this slop shit and instead of making slop and streaming daily he could be working on that video like 
yeah, you could be streaming like three or four times a week, have more time for yourself, and you don't have to, maybe for your girlfriend, and you don't have to just scream all the fucking time and just keep pumping out slop content. And the third option is that the editors are just scamming him. Like, they are just pretending to have too much work on their hands and are just like, yeah, pay me, pay me money and... I will make this video, oh no, this video is taking so long, they are just trashing themselves so that Pyro keeps paying them on a monthly basis or some shit. I don't know how this, uh, how this, if this is even possible, but this is like the third conspiracy theory I have about Pyro's workflow. And it's the cruelty situation again, because he didn't post for like, I think it was six months or something like that, nearly a year probably, I don't remember, but it was a really fucking long time that it took to make that video, and that video was completely justified because he had to travel to interview the developer of the game, and he had to get the animations, and it was a really complex video, and yeah, admittedly, Cruelty Squad is a complex game, probably you're going to delay it for the second time, you're probably going to miss the mark again. And everything you're really doing is just making people way more angry. And if you ask them to give you more time to not be so mad, like, yeah, we are doing it, but we are nearly finished. And then you just keep delaying it. That's going to piss off people more because delays always make people more pissed off. And this is the part of the video where I go completely off script because my notes end here. But in my opinion, Pyro is a consequentialist. And what this means is that he doesn't care about the process and what's happening in the process. All he really cares about is that the final product gets out. Like, And it's evident in his reasoning about him making slop, basically. Because he says that he's making slop and he's stretching these videos. He admitted to everything that people criticized the slop channel for. And it is there just to make money so that he can fund the main channel. In my opinion... This is his main problem, that he's a consequentialist and he sacrifices the quality, or he sacrifices his own image for achieving a perfect video. And I'm not saying that that's inherently bad. Everyone should care about, especially YouTubers, should care about the final product, of course. I'm not saying that he shouldn't and that it's ultimately bad. But Pyro should really look at his creative process and see what kind of damage it is doing, because it's doing a lot of damage because it might seem like I was glazing Pyro half the time in the beginning of the video, but the fact is that I'm actually torn on the Pyro because, and it might seem to some of you like I'm glazing Pyro or that I'm hating on Pyro, but I'm actually split because I, I miss the old Pyro and I understand why he went away because it was not lazy content, but it was. Uh, immature content and he wanted to move into more mature content but with that comes the fact that he's basically started doing the same shit but without the jokes he's doing it again like it's slop it's still the same old slop he had back in the day but now it's like uh pretending to be way more mature and he's occasionally making a little joke or something like that but then you look at it really and you're like no, this is still the same Pyro, this is the main channel Pyro, I miss the old Pyro. When he put efforts into when he put effort into his video, and this is another thing that people are criticizing Pyro for, because it seems like as time goes on, he keeps getting more pun intended, again. Uh, he seems to be getting more sloppier with his research on topics, and in the past he made several references to Critical, and how he is trying to beat him to getting out a reaction on time like that's the problem you're chasing but and, and i'm talking to you niall i'm talking to you right now you're trying to put out the video so that you can find find the main channel and then you're like why do people hate me why do people hate me why does my subreddit hate me i'm just trying to create the best content possible but on that road, that's the thing about consequentialism I was talking about. You don't care that the slop you're producing is actually making the whole situation worse. And, you, and you're sitting there like, well, I, I explained this. Like, this is why I need to make it. To give the people the best possible video. But you're focusing on that. And 
you're not really looking at the slop channel as something that has some sort of a value. You think of you think about it as a tool, but that tool that's fucking up your public image. I mean, people just look at the recent situation with the Nuxtaku. He didn't really, or whatever the fuck that was with the whole Jaden's animation situation or whatever the fuck. I did not pay attention to that drama, but many people started criticizing Pyro for not researching the shit he puts in his videos and he like um oh yeah i i didn't know i i, I didn't know that that was a oh shit i fucked up i guess and that was the perfect moment where pyro could have realized that putting out so much slop would just cause most of that shit to be looked on negatively like if you look on the comments like yeah it might be a running joke in the pyrocynical community but i bet that half of his fans or what used to be his fans are just hate watching him now like they are there just to bully pyro because it's a bit funny and yeah it's funny as fuck but i bet most of these people like especially your subreddit just hate you because you keep putting out slop and this point with the slop and him stretching the slop out to 20 minutes is what comes back now because he's trying to do 20 minute videos but then you go on the channel like slop live which is i believe by, uh, made by uh Don dolan and you notice that oh, oh he's doing the same shit but he's doing it in under like a minute or in like one or two minutes and meanwhile this british f fanboy furry lesbian who is this cute little lesbian and how tight is her pussy is here and stretching this shit out to 20 minutes is that really necessary is that really necessary? Do you think? I don't think so. I don't think that it is necessary what you're doing, Pyro. How do I put this? How do I put this? Because what I think is happening here, Pyro, and this is my advice to you. Stop putting up so much slop. Stop doing it. Or if you're gonna put up slop, have someone research your shit or research it. Verify the facts. Really get in there, don't just go off the first thing you find on the internet. You're not really researching your slop very well. And I think you need to wake the fuck up. What you Pyro need to do is to stop putting so much effort into the main channel videos. Really ask yourself, is everything in this necessary? Is, isn't this meandering? Are we getting to the point? Isn't this just too much slop? Or like, fill your content. And the second point is that you actually need to put effort into the slop. As well because you can just shit something out and then be like oh i'm sorry i got that wrong i'm i'm, I'm sorry this single sentence is really what people think about you right now pyro so listen up listen close people think that you're a lazy cunt that's really it they think you're a lazy cunt because most of the time what do you put out you put out slop you put out unedited reactions on the other pyrosnickel tv or whatever the fuck the channel's name is and they see all this low effort content and you streaming and re reacting to shit and they are like oh so this is what this guy is doing all the fucking time <laughs> okay they don't see what's happening behind the scenes that's the point they don't see it you see it and you think that um well i'm doing the main channel shit and i'm working on it and Somehow people still hate me. Yeah, because they don't see you making the main channel shit. They see only when the video comes up. That's the that's the thing. Uh, now the way people see you isn't the same way you see yourself. Because you see yourself as a hardworking YouTuber and streamer, and you are. And I admit you are. You are very funny. You are. Uh, you make great videos. But the way people see you in the background and most people that watch you don't know what the fuck goes on behind the scenes. I have an idea at least, but those people don't. Because the people that watch this shit, they don't know what's happening in your head. They don't know what you're doing when you're not live streaming or when the video isn't out. The only way they really see you or most of the people see you is when you put out a video. And what do people see most of the time? They see the slop. They see people insulting you in the chat. They see people insulting you in donations. And that's the image that you're creating because that's most of your content. Realize that. I don't want to see you devolve into a YouTuber who's just making slop to survive and just live streams all day. Because every single YouTuber that I've seen do that shit or do that sort of shit was miserable as fuck. So yeah, that's really about it. Uh, I hope you take these words into consideration. 
both you, Nile, and the viewers. And yeah, that's about it. Bye. There is bucket of wet slop grins. <laughs>